I've not really seen a gate like this before. Hello there. Just off for a little stroll this morning around Bottoms Reservoir, just in the edge of the Peak District. Not too much elevation today. But to be honest, I don't really look forward to uh, too much climbing. It's been a oof. been a few weeks since I've last been out in the hills, so. Uh, I think I need to get a little bit of fitness back before I start climbing mountains again. I've got some new laces for my boots. What do you think? Looking good. The problem with a lot of downhill at the start of my walk means that the last bit is going to be a lot of uphill. I think I've planned this a little bit wrong. It's also very much testing my skills of walking, talking and filming at the same time. Just walking along the the bank of Bottoms Reservoir. It's a, a beautiful tranquil day today and I love to see the, I don't know if you can see it through this, but see the reflection of the scenery on the reservoir. It's just beautiful and still. I've tried to take some photos, but my photography skills just don't do justice to the scene and the scenery that I can view. And it's just beautiful to be out and about. Some would call this perfect walking weather. Not too hot, not too cold, no wind, no rain. And in many respects it is. But uh, my philosophy is very much, whatever the weather is, it's beautiful weather if you're outdoors and wherever you are outdoors. Sometimes it makes it nice and easy, but other times having some challenging weather is, uh, is really good to challenge your, challenge your skills, challenge your experience challenge your knowledge and just challenge yourself really. Why would whoever owns this little bit of land, with beautiful views across there, say no camping or overnight stays in vehicles. To me, it's... Uh, I just don't understand it sometimes. But oh, hey-ho, that's me. Now that's a sign I do understand putting my health and safety hat on. Because I suspect it can probably be quite dangerous swimming in this reservoir. Sometimes the path you're walking takes you on quite a long stretch of man-made tarmac road. And on the face of it, it can seem a little bit relentless sometimes. But my view is, if you look to the right, if you look to the left, there's beautiful countryside to enjoy. And yes, you can hear me out of breath. I'm so unfit and stomping on the ground. But if I just stop. Just pause for a few moments and take in the beautiful sounds of nature. 
Oh, I've been walking on the flat for a while. Now I've got a bit of a hill to climb. Yeah. Will I make it? Let's see. Oh dear. Reach the top of the hill. Oh, it's not that steep. I've become so unfit. Been sat on my ass. Not really doing any walks for the last few weeks. Never mind. If it's a bit of a steep hill, rather than walking straight up it, if you sort of go a little bit of a zigzag, it makes the gradient not as bad. Although it does increase the amount of steps you're doing. But as I'm trying to do lots at the moment, that's good. You're not here to hear me panting, but I just thought I'd stop here at the top of the hill just to impress everybody of how, well, hopefully impress you all of how fit I am. I've just walked up that hill in one go without stopping. On the other side, it's not very high. <laughs> what a knacker. Halfway round today's walk, just crossing the weir between Vale House Reservoir and Rosewood Reservoir. It's awesome views. Both sides, that's Rosewood. Look at that. I don't mean my bold patch on my head, I mean the view. It's just awesome. Just taking a short break on my walk on this nice viewing platform that uh, United Utilities have put here, the Vale House Reservoir. It's good when you're walking just to, to stop, reflect, think, contemplate, meditate, or just blank out everything from your mind. I was going to say, and then listen to the sounds of nature, but at the moment they're drowned out by my voice and an aeroplane flying overhead and some cars over there. But once they've gone, you can hear the sound of nature, you can hear the birds, and you get a little bit of a breath of wind, very, very tiny breath of wind. I think I best be careful. Some aggressive sheep here, although to be fair, it is lambing season, protecting their little lambs. Just coming to the end of uh, today's walk, good couple of hours, I think about eight or nine K. I'll double check with the uh, tracking app I use, um, Outdoor Active, that's the one. Uh, yeah, good to be uh, back out in the great outdoors after, well, two or three months really of. Uh, inactivity and it's showing I need to uh, blow away a few cobwebs and uh, carry on my campaign to get fitter so uh, until next time thank you very much for watching I really appreciate it have a good day